You're watching Channel 7 Action News. Each year, more and more people are diagnosed with skin cancer. In fact, it's more common than breast, prostate, lung, and colon cancer combined. But there are ways for you to avoid it. And one of the ways to fight back against skin cancer is to make sure you use sunscreen. We're joined right now by Lara Algashin, a skin care specialist at Skin Logics and Middle Belt Dermatology Center. And obviously, people aren't doing something right because the numbers keep getting going worse. What, what's the mistake people are making here? Well, I've, I think that people um, have this assumption that putting on an SPF of 4 or 8 or 12, which is what they're finding in the stores, you know, randomly as they're quickly going to purchase something, is not sufficient. It's textbook is 30. You want at least a 30 or higher, and they're also not reapplying. They're <laughs> That's the problem. They're not reapplying. So if we're not on the beach and we're just out in the sun daily, I mean, do we need to reapply or put it on in the morning under our makeup? Put it on in the morning underneath your makeup is the, is the best way to start your day. Absolutely. But if you're going to be in direct sunlight, if you're going to be out on the boat, at the beach, sitting by the pool, even doing yard work or going for just a quick walk. Most people don't realize that, you know, skin cancer is not, it, it's not seasonal. It, it can happen all throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Even if it's cloudy, Mr. Clark, so yeah, you need sunscreen too. Now, yeah. I was looking right here, you have one here, it's SPF 85. I mean, Correct. that's that's like paint. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sun getting through that, right? Well, again, you still have to apply it every couple hours. You have to reapply. And so a higher number doesn't mean you can just leave it doesn't on. Doesn't necessarily forget. mean that you're getting the best protection. Obviously, we would like somebody to use 30 or higher, but again, you need to reapply it every couple hours. So talk about some of the products that you brought in. You said these middle ones, th these are the types women can wear under their makeup. Absolutely. Men can wear moisturizers, daily moisturizers with an SPF of 30. Aveeno makes a really great one called Positively Radiant. It's oil-free and non-communogenic um, for actually this one's a really good one as well the mixoral by um, the La Roche Posay mm -hmm. um, that's an SPF of 40 and then for when you're outside and you're doing the yard work or by the pool the soul, soul bar line is great as well as the Aveeno. Now where can we find all of these products? Aveeno you're gonna find at any drugstore Target um, even I believe Sam's Club carries the Aveeno line. Soul bar you're gonna order directly from the company just right on the back of the bottle it's called Persona and Cubby. Now, is there a big difference in price between, say, Aveeno and Soul Bar? No, they actually are all pretty much in the in the same price and range. And what should we pay for approximately you're for a daily at, moisturizer? I would, for a daily moisturizer, you're looking at about probably eight to ten dollars. For a sunscreen, you're looking at ten to twelve, sometimes even fifteen dollars. But it's really important to keep it absolutely. And I'm seeing a whole bunch of them here are products for babies. So obviously, I mean, are it's, we not? It's so important. I mean, we see these babies out by the pools, and they are just they're not protected. It. They don't have sunscreen on. And that's when your biggest concern for sun damage is at a young age. You know, that's when it starts. Now, I, I remember even when Eric Smith was here, here on Channel 7 and he had skin cancer and had to go through surgery. What are the first signs that we have skin cancer? You have a, a, a lesion that is non healing. You could have a red, um, people think they look like moles and they just don't go away. They can be scaly, they can actually bleed. Those are more along the lines of like a basal cell or squamous cell carcinoma. Malignant melanomas obviously are known as the black mole and that's a little bit more serious. Now is this uh, going to be in an obvious place like where, the, where you're exposed to sun or can you start getting these someplace that you don't even think you're exposing yourself that often? You know you wear shirts and, and, and so forth. Most of the skin cancers are going to be from sun exposures. Malignant melanomas can be anywhere on the body anywhere including in the mouth. And it's important to go see a dermatologist right once a year and get your whole body looked Do over. body exams, absolutely. To make sure that you yes. don't have skin cancer anywhere on your body. I was also noticing, I know there's always been uh, the UVA, UVB, and some right. thought that some were dangerous and some weren't, but you gotta watch them all now. Huh? You want to wear a broad spectrum UVA, UVB. All oh, right. Absolutely. All right, so Laura, thank you so much. Thank you. Go check her me. out at the Middle Belt Dermatology Center right in Farmington Hills. Absolutely. Okay, thank wonderful. You. Thank you as I can't always. I believe there's so many things here. <laughs> and, and I'm not using any of them. No, I'm you horrible. have to start.